This video will explain how to customize the Milton course templates for your specific classes. Each of your classes has been created using the appropriate grade level template. You'll see a course image, 16 units, and some general information for each. The first step is to customize your course banner. From the home page, click the edit button. Select the current image and delete it. Then select the image button and choose course images. From this section, you'll need to search for your course. Start by typing at least three letters and choose the appropriate image. Once you select it, it will automatically add to your editing section. Close the window, select the image, select image options, and change the size from custom to extra large. Be sure to click done in the lower right hand corner before you exit. The image will be resized. Simply click save before you leave this page and you will now have an updated course image. The units on the home page will be used to house your content. We have initially given 16 units to each of the classes with the understanding that some of you may need more, some of you may need less, and we will adjust those based on individual preference and content areas. The other areas that we will work on now are the buttons at the lower portion of the page. Click on modules to take you to the overview. The first step is to edit the name of your class. Choose the three dots on the end of the title bar, click edit, and change the name of your class. Be sure to click update module before you exit. From there, choose meet your teacher. The meet your teacher section requires that you change your name and include a brief intro or bio of yourself to the students. A few short bullets are preferred. You also need to add a personalized video. Click the edit button. Edit your name, edit any personal information you want to present in a typed format, and then using the orange text, create a short personal video introducing yourself to your class. Simply choose the media button, choose upload and record media, and from this screen, choose record. Once you've completed all of that, be sure to delete the instructional text you've added. The video that you've created will automatically be inserted into this area. Scroll to the bottom and click Save. Click the Next button and you will find yourself at the course introduction and syllabus. In this section, elementary teachers will not have a syllabus to upload. Secondary teachers will add a link to your 365 document or upload a file. If you're uploading a file, there is an additional step that needs to happen. On the left menu, choose Files. Before you add anything into your modules, you need to upload the file to your course first. This prevents any broken links from happening. Choose the orange Upload button and navigate to the file you'd like to upload. Choose Open, and you'll see that it is added to your course. Now you can navigate back to Modules, back to Course Introduction and Syllabus, and resume editing. Clicking on the Edit button will enable me to insert that file from my course. So from this section, choose the document menu, 
and choose course documents. Choose your file and then close the window using the X in the upper right hand corner. The file has now been embedded. I would click save before I leave. I'm going to cancel so that it doesn't save this in the template, but also be sure to delete any of the instructional text and include the intro paragraph from your course syllabus as well. Elementary teachers can create a customized introduction to their course for this section. Click Next. The school expectations page will not need to be modified. This is just for your information. Next year, we will have to update the links to the student handbooks, but that's not something to worry about now. Click Next. Course expectations. Elementary teachers can add in their classroom rules or expectations. Secondary teachers, if you have any course specific expectations that were not covered in the school expectations, you can add them here. If you don't have anything, please email myself, Kim Zalonis, or the instructional coaches to let us know that we will update the buttons on your homepage so that there is not a broken link to a page that doesn't exist. On the important links page, we would ask that you leave the student resources links and the learning resources that we've already added. The most common links that your students may use depending upon your grade level have been added. If you do not want these to appear in your course, simply click edit and delete them. Also, please delete this instructional text. If there are buttons or links that you would like added, Again, please email Kim Zalonis and the instructional coaches so that we can create the buttons for you to maintain the overall consistency in navigation. Click Next. Navigating Canvas again is a purely informational page. This is a key to the symbols that we have used throughout the rest of the content blueprint and also just a quick overview for students of the three most important buttons that they will use in Canvas and also some information about the immersive reader. There's no need to edit any information on this page. The final page to edit in the Welcome to Class module is how to get help. The only thing that needs to be updated here is to insert your email address. Eventually we will be building a Canvas page that's linked to the Milton homepage which will also link in this section. Please do not hesitate to reach out if you need help or have questions about any of this. Emailing the instructional coaches and Kim Zalonis in one email will assure that you get the quickest response possible.